Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back down to my crafts pit. So last week I put out that video for TRG, the Ramblin' Gambler from the Casino Combat Podcast. Now, it was a great strategy to come in with a very low dollar amount and spend a lot of time at the table. It's a grind. You have a, a, a positive exit strategy and a negative exit strategy. We just happened to hit the positive one. Well, one of the viewers in, in Puerto Rico, Jamie Garcia, has asked me if I would run it again trying to do a controlled shot. Now, I'm the first one to tell you that I'm just an average shooter, okay? I'm not great, I'm not, I don't have exhibit a lot of influence over anything, but we'll give it a try. Now, I was toying around with the idea of doing it on the pass line instead of the don't pass, but I'll be honest with you guys, I experimented around with this a little bit and I didn't do well, I didn't do well at all. So I am gonna still do the controlled shot for Jamie, but I am going to play on the don't pass. Now he's also asked for a specific dice set, six, five, six, four. So it's a crossed six, crossed sixes set, okay? Now that's fine. Uh, crossed six sets are, people are successful with that, but I tell you, it's not necessarily the best set for me, but we're gonna roll it out anyway and see how it goes. This is going to go a little bit slower because I am tracking the rolls. We're gonna find out at the end, number one, did I win or lose any money? And number two, did I show any kind of, I hate to use the word influence, but did I show any kind of influence over this set of rolls? All right, guys, let's roll them out. All right, so another thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do it with green chips today, $25 bets instead of $10 bets. Uh, let's see if we can make just a little bit more money. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, uh, again, we're gonna start over with our one unit bet at the very beginning. Bet one unit, win or lose. So we gotta make our bet. I'm gonna put it on the don't pass bar. All right, so we are gonna be setting them at six, five, six, four. Let's see if I can just show it to you here. There's a six, five and a six, four. So five and fours are gonna be facing me Six sixes are on the top. Now we're gonna be able to track the rolls. Down on the bottom is gonna be like a bubble crap, uh, bubble craps tracker type of a uh, gauge, I guess. We've got our gauges saying, am I uh, within normal parameters for box numbers, inside hits, fours and tens, you, you can see it. You, you, get, you get the idea. And then up at the top, of course, uh, is where we track the number of rolls and uh, the SOR or seven out ratio. All right, so I am playing the don't on myself, which seems a little bit weird, but we're gonna do that anyway. All right, I'm gonna try a three finger grip. Straight down, see how it goes. All right, that's box cars. All right, just making sure that it comes up. Okay, yeah, very good. So we got a uh, uh, 12 on the come out roll, does not, affect anything on the don't pass line. So we're just gonna set them up again. Six, five, six, four. <laughs> Aces, all right, well that's actually quite good for us. Let's mark it. We still don't have a point, but we're gonna win some moolah. All right, let's bring the dice back. Oh gosh, I didn't look to see if you guys could see that. Uh, let me push it down further. I think you can see if I go, there we go. So that's the aces. I'll try to do better at that. I'll try to make sure that I bring it down here uh, so you can see the uh, results before I uh, bring them all the way back. All right, so we won that bet. All right, and since we won that bet, let's get paid. I'm gonna take $25, we're gonna pay it, and I'm gonna pick everything up. <laughs> I need to move this over here so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna pick it all up so we can see what's going on. Now, if you remember from the last video, on the top rail, that's where I put my play stack. So this is my uh, uh, ammunition. This is what we're gonna play with. And I have a stop limit of down to three units. Now, the reason I have that is I might be um, at a progressive or, I'm sorry, or a regressive two bed or something like that, where I need to dip into this a little bit. So, so this is where I kind of set my stage of, uh, that's where I wanna lock things in. Uh, but the rest of it is my play stack, and then down here below, we're gonna lock in our wins. 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chips. And I've got a 10th chip and I've got that 11th chip. Now that's good for us. That means we are gonna be able to put some into our wind stack. But before I go there, let's come back over and check things out. So this was a, an initial bet. We're trying to figure out, are we gonna go progressive or regressive? Well, we won that bet, so we're gonna to go to the progressive side. Now the next bet on the progressive side is one unit. So I'm gonna take one unit from the play stack, put it out here. Uh, where can you see it? Okay, yeah, I think you can see it over here. There we go. So uh, we're gonna put that place, uh, the, the one unit on the play stack, and I'm gonna lock up this $25 right down there. All right, let's, um, let's do this again. All right, so this is still the first shooter. We are still looking for a point. We're gonna go back to 6564. Dice are out. All right, four, two, six. So we've got our first point. Uh, okay, I'm trying to do this into a, a rhythm here. Let's mark it in the tracker, four, two, six. Make sure it comes up, there we go. All right, so bring the dice back. That's a four and a two. And let's mark that six. All right, so since I'm on the don't pass, I'm really hoping for a seven, even though I am the shooter. All right, six, five, six, four is the set Jamie would like us to, to work with. Dice are out. That is a five, three, eight, and it does look like it came off the view. So pull it over, there's the three, there's the five. Doesn't mean a thing to us. Oh, I've already broken my own rule. Let's mark it first, five and a three. And we'll pull the dice back. And again, we're looking for a six or a seven. A six I'm gonna lose, seven I'm gonna win. We are on the progressive one bet. Six, five, six, four. Crossed sixes. All right, that is a hard six. Okay, let's mark it first. All right, so I hit my point. Let's bring those dice back. Take the puck down and we lost that. So we're gonna swipe that away and come back over to our decision tree. Did we win? No. So that pushes us to the regressive side of the house. A regressive one is a two unit bet. Now, we're gonna take two units from our play stack. Remember, our win stack is kind of locked in. There is a circumstance where we'll take a little bit from it. We'll deal with that if we get to it. But right now, I'm gonna make a $50 bet on the don't pass. And here we go, this is a come out roll. Six, five, six, four on the come out. It was a big bounce. Hey, but that was a good bounce for us. Let's pull this into view. There's an ace and an ace. So that works out pretty good on the don't pass. Sorry for all of you that might have been betting against me on the pass line, but we are going to get paid and it's gonna be a nice little payday. All right, so that was aces on a come out roll. So that $50 down there is going to win us another 50 bucks. Let's pick it all up. And take a look back here at our win stack again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is eight, there is nine, 10. And look at that. We've got an extra green chip. That works good for us. All right, so I've got 11 units up in my play stack. That was on the regressive one side. We won it. Is our play stack less than 11? Nope, it's equal to 11. So the instructions tell me to flip back over to the progressive one side to make a one unit bet. So we're gonna lock in this $25. So we're now up two units and we're gonna take a one unit from our play stack and place another bet. 
<laughs> I apologize. All right, I apologize again. I forgot to mark it on the tracker. So there's the, the aces on the come out. Okay, and that's a repeater. Anybody happen to be playing on the repeater bets? All right, we are still looking for a point. So six, five, six, four is the set. There we go. Yep. Take my time. Make sure I got a good grip. Okay, here we go. Come out, roll. And that is a four, three, seven. Not so good for us. Let's mark it. All right, so that's, uh, that's marked. Let's bring those dice back. And that is a seven on the come out. So we are gonna lose that don't pass bet. All right, so let's put that back in the bank. And what happened here? We bet one unit, we lost one unit. So that we follow the flow chart back over to the regressive one side again. And it is a two unit bet from our play stack. So up here, I've got only nine left. So I'm gonna take two units and we're gonna go down to seven in our play stack and pass and play on the don't pass line. Okay, so we are still looking for a point. Make sure I, yep, I marked it. We're, we're good, we're in good shape. Six, five, six, four is the set. That is a hard six, three and a three. Let's mark it. Bring the dice back. All right, so if you'll remember, in the previous video, I started to talk about how I might hedge uh, if the don't pass point is a six or an eight. Now, I could go out there and I could put $42 or uh, you know, whatever, I, whatever I want to try to hedge that with. I'm still not going to do that today, but I will tell you, that's how I do play it uh, when I'm playing in, with uh, uh, some bubble craps. I just don't like betting on the don'ts on a six or an eight. That's just me. All right, so we have set a point of six. I've got two units out there. We're on the regressive side of things, and I'm really hoping for a seven. But for Jamie, I'm still going to do the six, five, six, four set. We're going to try to do the best we can. See what happens. Dice are out. Big bounce, and that is a three, six, nine. Just barely out of view. Let's pull that back. There's the three. There's the six. Okay, that doesn't uh, matter to us one bit. Let's go mark it really quick. Three, six, nine. Bring them back, set them up, do it again. Points of six. So we're looking for a six or a seven. Six, five, six, four. There's a 617. Okay, so that's gonna work out pretty good for us. Let's mark it, bring those dice back, and take the puck down. All right, so we lost that bet, so let's get paid. That's a $50 bet, so we're gonna get paid $50. Pick it all up, and come back up here to our play stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and good news for us, we're at 11. Okay, we consult again. We were on a regressive side of the bets, betting two units, we did win. Is our play stack less than 11? Nope, it's actually equal to 11. So it's gonna send us right back over to the progressive one bet. And I'm going to be able to lock up another quarter and bet one unit. All right, so we've got three units up here in our win stack where things are starting to look okay. All right, so this is a new come out roll. Six, five, six, four, cross six is set. Dice out. 
<laughs> that's a seven on the come out. All right, well, we're just going back and forth, back and forth. So let's mark it, three, four, seven. Pull those dice back. All right, we lost that bet, so we're gonna put it back in the bank. That was a no, a win equals no, so it pushes us back over to the regressive side again, where we're gonna make a two unit bet from our play stack. That goes in the don't pass bar, and we're gonna try to set a point. All right, there's a six five. There's a six four. All right, let's get a point. That looked like a good shot, but it was horrible results for me. That's a six, one, seven. All right, so let's mark it, six, one, and a seven. So that's gonna be a loss. All right, I don't think we actually got to go to this side of things in the last video. So this is gonna be kind of interesting. All right, so we were on a regressive one bet of two units and we lost it. So the win equals yes or no? No, we did not win. So a new decision is made. Is the play stack less than three units? Nope, our play stack is still okay. We're in good shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven units. But now instead of going over to the regressive uh, side or staying in regressive, we're going to go to what he calls build up the play stack. And I'm only going to bet one single unit. And we're going to be in a loop with that until I happen to win or I hit my negative exit uh, point. Okay, here we go. We're still looking for a point. Six, five, six, four. That's your out. And that's an eight. That's a five and a three. I don't think you can see it. Let's, uh, here's the three. You can see the three. Pull the five over. There we go. So eight is our point. Let's mark it in the tracker. Okay, I've only got a single point, or a single unit on this. Uh, let's put the puck on. Now we're looking for a seven or an eight. Okay, six, five, six, four. That's a two, one, three. All right, anything but a an seven or an eight, we just bring the dice back and shoot them again. Six, five, six, four. That is a six, four, 10. We're gonna mark it. Now this is where the game can get really long. If you've got a shooter that's going, you know, 10, 15 minutes uh, without hitting a point or hitting a seven, all you can do is just sit there, wait and watch. Six, five, six, four. And there's the eight. Okay, so we hit the point, five and a three. Let's mark that. Dice are coming back. Puck is coming down. And we lose that point, or lose that unit. So I've still got three, six units up in my play stack. The, uh, the decision box here is, did I win? No. Is the play stack less than three units? Yes. No, 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 no. The play stack less than three units. No, it's greater than three units. It's actually six. So we're gonna go make a one unit bet again. Six, five, six, four, come out, roll. Six, four, 10. All right, I'll take that. Let's mark it really quick, six and a four. 
dice are coming back. And we're going to mark the point. All right, so this time we're looking for a 7 or a 10. 6, 5, 6, 4. All right, maybe I should have played the pass line. All right, so that's a six, four, 10. We're gonna lose that bet as well. So we just hit the point, Let's bring those dice back. Puck comes off, we lose that don't pass bet. And we're still in that loop. Um, is our play stack less than three units? No, we've got five units, so we're still in this. We're going to still do that build up the play stack with one unit, but we're starting to get close to that negative exit point. Six, five, six, four. All right, three, one, four. That's also Normally would be a good one for the don't player. Let's see what happens. All right, dice are coming back. Point is on the four. Now it's a four or a seven is what we're looking for. Oh, shoot. Um, I moved my dice. I'm, I'm still in the build up the play stack area. We're going to stay in that loop until we hit our negative exit point or we have a win. Six, five, six, four. Big bounce, five, two, seven. That worked out all right for me. All right, we're gonna mark it, five, two, seven. Bring those dice back. Puck comes down. All right, so we won that. We, it was just a single unit. So we're gonna get paid one unit. We're gonna pick it all up. And we're going to take a look at here at our play stack. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you remember your play stack has to be more than 10 units in order to, to bank something in the win stack. So we're not there yet. We've only got six units. So let's consult what happens here. We did win that bet. Our play stack is less than 11. So we need to ask the question or we need to take the action 11 minus the play stack or two units, whichever is less. Well, 11 minus uh, six, that'd be five. So two is definitely less. So we're only going to bet two units from the play stack. All right, that's going down there in the don't pass bar. And now we just roll it out. All right, we are looking for a point. Six, five, six, four. That's a three, one, four. All right, we're going back down to the, the, the four. New point. Dice are coming back. Puck goes down to that four. Now again, four or seven, whichever comes first. Six, five, six, four. Cross six set. Get really close to that back wall. Six, three, nine. Okay, we survived. So anything other than a four or a seven, we just bring them all the way back, start it all over again. We're still in this game. You know, taking a quick look, we're 22 rolls in. You know, at a real crafts table at about a minute, minute and a half uh, um, per roll. We're probably a half hour at a live table. Four one five. Again, nothing really happens. Mark it. Show them real quick. Four and a one. There we go. Here we go again. Six five. 
Five, one, six. All right, my dice are really starting to go all over the place, which is not a sign of a controlled toss. Let's see if I can dial it in just a little bit. You know, when it, uh, a control toss, really what I see it hit that uh, back wall, come back a couple of inches and just die right there. The dice close together. That's really what I want to see. I don't want to see one dice jetting way over here. Uh, that's, that's random. Uh, that's going to be a random roll. All right. Six, five, six, four. That's a five, three and a two. A little bit better shot that time. Nine. All right, we're definitely helping our metrics uh, a little bit. Six and a three. Going on a nice long roll. That's a six, five, six, four. Okay, that was a runner. Aces. So Jamie, I hope you're getting what you wanted out of this video uh, with that uh, 6564 set. 65, 64. And weird bounce. Ace deuce, we survived that roll too. All right, and anybody betting the all tall small? We just won the small. Uh, just for grins, what do we still need for the tall? Looks like we actually need a lot. Uh, all right, here we go. Six, five. Six, four. And off to the side, aces. That uh, did not hit the landing zone like I wanted it to. Okay. So just a reminder, we are at the regressive two bet. That's two units, the points of four. So right now we're looking for either a four or a seven. Six, five. Six, four. Nine, six, three, nine. Stats are looking pretty good. Again, they're really spreading out. They're not uh, landing very close together. So that's a three, two, five. Now you really have to combat some uh, um, desires to put more money out there. Now you can, yeah, if you want to, you can, but you're straying from the system here. Six, five, six, four, $50, don't pass bet. That's a four, two, six. There's the four. There's the two. Nothing out there. Six, five, six, four. Uh, 
little short of the landing zone, but that worked out 628. We're still okay. All right, there it is. That's a three, four. Well, let me double check, make sure that's a four. Yep, three, four, seven out. All right, so let's uh, bring the dice back. Bring the puck down. And let's get paid. All right, so we had a $50 don't pass bet on there. We're gonna take another 50 bucks and get paid. Bring it up and see where we're at. So I've got four units in my play stack right now. There's five, six, seven, eight. All right, so in the interest of time, I'm gonna call it here. We're gonna say that uh, we timed out, uh, need to leave for whatever reason. Now, we always wanna bring our play stack back up to base of 10 units. So what did I say that was? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two more units brings me up to what my buy-in was, and we have $25 left over. So we made a one unit profit. All right, taking a quick look at the metrics over there, my SOR was actually 11.0, much better than I would have given myself credit for. Uh, the dice were in my favor. We rolled 33 times. That last roll actually went 13 rolls before we sevened out. Uh, looks like all my key performance indicators are in the green. So yeah, overall, it was a pretty decent uh, shot, and I still made money playing the dark side. All right, Jamie, I hope that that was really what you were looking for. I used the die set, six, five, six, four. We did pretty good. I actually did better than I uh, have done in my practice sessions. We actually made some money playing on a dark side, uh, playing the dark side on a decent table. Yeah, it's only one unit, but that's okay. It's still a profit, and that's the name of the game. Walk out with more money than you came in with. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave us some comments, and we'll catch you on the next roll.